Yo, what is going on guys? Elite Gaming here, and um, I'm bringing you guys a survival guide, alright? I know, fucking, I took long to do this, but you know, I I've been playing this a lot, and I wanted to make sure I get everything right. I didn't want to play it once and then do a survival guide, I want to like, play it a lot of times. I know what to do. I'm fucking pro at it, alright? I extract almost every time with six survival caches with my buddy uh, KOBK Gaming. Um, yeah. So, uh, these are the steps to becoming the best at survival. Okay. And this is a guide how to do it. Okay, as soon as you spawn in, you want to go straight for the painkillers and immediately pop them this stops your time next you wanna get your fabric go over to the crafting table and craft a scarf or a hat not the jacket cause the jacket is lower after that you wanna go straight for the um, chopper crash once you get to the chopper crash you wanna loot everything there alright this is where you the chopper crash basically boosts you in the beginning of the game, okay? Most of the time you'll find PvP, like you'll find players here. You know, me and my buddy play PvP because we want to PvP all the time, you know? After you loot all these, you see there's people coming right now. And we basically just fucked them up. I got a purple um, SBT, which is pretty good. Um... Yeah, you just look at this, dude. Like these guys get wrecked. Okay. That guy gets wrecked. There's more players in the distance there. Basically, after you're you're done killing these guys, you want to loot them, loot and kill them throughout the whole game, because uh, you'll get fucking materials and shit. I don't know what the fuck happened there. My guy glitched out. Anyways, heat up. We go after these guys. We kill four people in the beginning, in the beginning of the game, which is pretty fucking good. Rarely see the. Once your time uh, starts ticking again, you want to pop your medicine or painkillers right away. Fuck these guys up. Kill them. Loot them. After you kill and loot them, you wanna f go back and then keep farming. Next, you wanna just keep farming around, look for materials, weapon parts, fabric, electronics, stuff like that. You wanna loot in buildings, cause buildings um, have a lot of shit in them. See there's food here, food's really good cause it regenerates your health. Water. You use that to see um, to see stuff through the walls. It helps you out a lot. Just to get like boosted and shit. So yeah, just keep farming. Yeah, just keep farming around. There's electronics. I got a purple mask here, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Purples are really good. You at least want to have blues and purples before you go on the DZ. Me and my buddy KOBK Gaming like to uh, go on the DZ really early. So yeah, keep farming around. Next up, I just wanted to show you guys this clip. These guys get fucked up. Boom. I really like the PvP and survival because it's balanced. That guy stood still, he gave up. You just want to loot and kill them. Take their materials. Craft them. You can use them. Stuff like that. Warning. Next, you want to take out landmarks. Okay, landmarks are almost like chopper crashes, but better. Landmarks are almost guaranteed purples and stuff like that. Me and my buddy... We are so good at taking landmarks, so, like, just be cautious, like, you always want to be moving around, you don't want to stay still. 
Um, fucking just keep looting. Keep taking out landmarks. We just took this landmark out. Buddy got down, revived him. You wanna pick up everything? And once you take out a landmark, you wanna instantly pick up everything and get the fuck out of there, alright? Because people, other players will know you're at the landmark because they'll be, you know, they'll look at the map and they'll be like, oh shit, you know, this landmark's been taken out, let's go PvP. You wanna loot everything? By the way, quick tip. If you press, if you go to a loot, like see that blue over there? If you go up and press on the D-pad, press up on the D-pad. Um, and instantly press triangle on PS4. It will instantly equip it for you. So, and I recommend to go for, um, go all out on toughness in survival, okay? You don't really want firearms, you don't really want electronics. Well, you don't really want electronics. You mostly want firearms and uh, toughness, right? Um, after you hit this landmark, you want to instantly go to another landmark. Okay, this landmark right here is really good because it has a lot of meds. I'll explain to you what meds are. Okay, um, painkillers stop your time, and medicine stops your time too. But medicine. Stops your time longer. It stops it for five minutes, and painkiller stops it. Stops your time for three minutes. All right. Survival. Okay. Survival mode is almost like H1Z1, where you have gas and you're basically being pushed into something, like into your objective. Which is like what survival is. It's like your time is pushing you. Like you want to hurry up and loot up outside of the dark zone. Um. fucking just you just keep you just want to stay on your fucking toes man you just want to keep moving keep moving as fast as possible because your time runs out pretty not quick but like if you keep popping medicine it it's pretty I don't know man fucking you know you know what I mean keep stopping your time you want to loot this See, pressed up on the D-pad, equip that right away. You want to find clothing, because clothing, um, stops the cold from getting, from pushing your meter down. I mean, my aim was kind of bad there. You want to loot everything in the landmark. Classic AK-47. The AK-47 in this game is really fucking good, in survival mode. Boom. Up on the D-pad. Just trying to equip everything. Okay, next. You want to convert all your greens into blues. And to do that faster, press, uh... Press right on your D-pad. And then press, you know, craft once. Okay, once you've done that, you want to uh, craft your basic virus filter. You want to craft your advanced virus filter and you want to craft an additional medkit pouch okay and then you want to craft pulse as soon as possible in the beginning of the game because that helps you a lot and if you're running with a buddy uh, I would craft support station and if you're running solo you want to run first aid so just a quick little tip there and you want to instantly equip them Once you've done that, okay, once you've done that, you want to head in the fucking DZ. This is where shit gets fucking real, alright? This is where shit gets fun, actually, okay? Um, once you head in the DZ, you know, I like to go to the nearest division tag. Craft these, or get these quickly. Those, uh, weapon parts disappeared on me. So go to the nearest division tech as soon as possible when you hit the DZ, which is right over here. Most of you guys will know where this is. Once you um, get that division tech, you want to go right into the safe house. Now what you want to do is you craft, is you convert all your blues into golds. Okay. Once you craft all 
once you convert all your blues into golds, you want to basically craft high-end, um, craft on high-end deer, you know? High-end deer gives you higher stats, you know, it makes you stronger, um, yeah, so keep crafting high-ends if you have enough. My buddy went down out there. Because he wasn't listening to me. He didn't stay in the fucking uh, safe house. <laughs> That's alright though. He wanted to go right for the landmarks, you know? Okay, so after you've done that, I recommend the ACR. Craft the fucking ACR. ACR is really strong against players and uh, PvE. You want to equip it as soon as possible. And then, uh, yeah. After you've done that, you want to go for uh, landmarks in the DZ. This will give you survival caches. Now, survival caches, you want to go for all six of them. Because survival caches gives you four items in one cache, okay? Survival caches are key to doing survival. Fucking... You did all six survival caches. Um... Fuck yeah. Next, I wanted to show this clip. These guys get wrecked. PvP. They can't get mad because they chose PvP. They want a PvP, you know? My buddy's looting him. I chase this guy. The turret's not even that strong. I don't even know why they're using that, to be honest. By the way, if you want a PvP in survival, the key is to focus one die at a time. That's how you win survival fights. Quickly. And fast. Anyways, yeah. The only reason why I do, why I do survival is because of the survival dashes. You can get named deer pieces, stuff like that. Fucking loot this guy. Get more materials so you can craft more stuff. He had a lot of purples. Good shit. Okay, next up, you want to, um, extract, but, I forgot, I don't know what happened to this clip, but, um, you want to get to your antivirals, alright? Your antivirals would be division tech, and, basically, yeah, you state your antivirals, I don't know what happened, I'm sorry, I didn't show that clip, I don't know what happened to it. I forgot to tell you, you guys want to craft a hunt, a custom M44. Um, the custom M44, M44 is really good at taking out um, hunters. Um, yeah, just focus one guy at a time. Focus one, um, one hunter at a time. It will help. Take them out really quickly. Be uh, be cautious of players coming up behind you. And the reason why I chose the hunt, the custom M44, is because sometimes it will two-shot hunters, which is really, really, really fucking good. And also, it would it could two-shot um, players too. I two-shot a, I two-shot a player before. It was fucking hilarious. But yeah, after you, you just want to go for survival caches, take out as many landmarks as you can. Once you have six survival caches, I recommend you just extracting as quickly as, you're, quickly as you want. Um, basically, that's the only reason why I do survival is for six survival caches. But yeah, me and my buddy uh, KOBK Gaming, we fuck people up in survival. Got him. I'm, I'm pulsing to make sure there's nobody behind me, no players. Because I'm pretty sure there is two other players left, but um, we don't know where they are. We had a, a low time limit, so we had to extract right away. And also, sometimes, uh, I like to be last man standing, me and my buddy Jason. 
Sorry about that little fucking cut there, guys. I don't know what the fuck happened. Um, my my uh, rec audio stopped. My recording stopped. Sorry about that. Um, fuck. Can't believe that just happened. Okay, so once you, uh, like I said, all sorts of rebel you want to extract. Get your antivirals. They're gonna be changing that too. They're gonna make it so you have to get your antivirals in order to extract. Because survival is all about getting the fucking antivirals and extracting, right? Anyways, I have to give a big shout out to my buddy Jason. His YouTube channel is KOBK Gaming. He just hit a hundred subs. Go give him some love. He's a fucking beast. Um, yo, Jason, if you're watching this, you're a fucking beast, bro. Be in the air in um, I'll show you guys my, um, my score. I'll show you guys my score at the end of the, once I extract here. Evac, returning to base. Yeah, once you extract, um, you feel good once you get all six survival crashes. It feels really fucking good. Um, and, uh, yeah. If you guys enjoyed the survival guide, be sure to give it a like. Comment what you think about this video. Just so, if you if you reach to the end, uh, type in Elite Gaming or something like that. And um, be sure to subscribe. I have six subscribers, which is really good. If you guys should help me out and subscribe, that'll be fucking lit. Anyways, guys, peace.